I have a story to tell you about Tesla's upcoming new battery that would be introduced at the battery day in about a few days. So several days ago, Electric featured a massive battery cell that was supposedly a product of the Roadrunner line from Tesla's Roadliner, Roadrunner line. Uh, uh, Tesla Radi, and then it, it was leaked more on the news and Tesla Radi wrote a very nice article about that. Elon Musk tweeted under Tesla Radi's article saying, it will be very insane. So pretty much uh, Elon Musk confirms that the sale leaked on electric yesterday is real, highly recommended reading article, which Elon Musk doesn't dispute, though that doesn't confirm all the speculations of or of course. So let's take a look and see what Tesla Radi's article said about it, under which Elon Musk uh, tweeted saying it will be very insane. Welcome back, dear friends. This is Armin Haryan from TalkNews.com. If you are here first time, please subscribe to our channel for daily Tesla news and ring the bell so you don't miss my next Tesla story. So Simon Alvarez at teslaradi.com writes that Tesla Roadrunner sale leak hints that battery day will be more insane than expected. And Elon Musk tweeted under that story saying it will be very insane. So uh, Simon Alvarez says Tesla's battery day has been hyped so much that the event will have to include something truly amazing to live up to its expectations. I totally agree with this. This has been hyped very much because expectations had been building and building and building. It was delaying the battery day because of the virus and for different reasons. And now um, we're looking forward to it on September 22nd. Alvarez continues suing in, uh, saying in the lead up to the highly anticipated event, the battery day, a leaked image featuring what is supposedly a battery cell from Tesla. Tesla's Roadrunner line has emerged and if the leak proves legitimate, which already we know it does because Elon Musk said that it will be very insane. Elon Musk did not dispute that leak. If that leak so um, proves legitimate, it would appear that battery day will not only meet expectations, it will be even more insane than expected. The leaked image, um, Alvarez writes, which was initially published in a report on electric, featured a massive battery cell that was supposedly a product of the Roadrunner line. The publication noted that the image was sent through an anonymous source and confirmed by another independent source. From the get-go, it is evident that the cell is massive, closer in size to a supercapacitor than a traditional battery cell. Initial observations by battery enthusiasts online also point to some radical improvements than that such a cell design would bring. Would bring. For example, BR Cooper, a, a Twitter username, says uh, the role is pushed into the can uh, Cooper anode down. The can is dropped into the holes of the first collector plate. The dielectric separator 520 is sandwiched in between and the top cover plate rests atop the aluminum collector caps of each battery in the group. This will be probably more understood by people who are battery experts or understand from those things. And um, BR Cooper also says, thus providing the positive connections. There are no individual cells with individual caps. The cover plate is the cap and connector for all cells in the group. The entire thing sits in a bat, a dialectic coolant that is pumped through the case. Uh, uh, Alvarez continues in Tesla Radi saying, while electric sources have mentioned that the Roadrunner cell will feature roughly double the diameter of the 2107 cells that the electric, uh, electric car maker currently uses in the Model 3 and Model Y, Tesla enthusiast uh, at BR Cooper, who is familiar with battery technology, has observed that one of the leaked image, images had the number 054 printed on its side. If this number represents the cell's diameter, it would point to Tesla's Roadrunner cells adopting a 54 times 98 from factor, which has 10 times the volume of a 2170 cell. 
as noted by Jordan Gisich uh, of the Limiting Factor channel on YouTube, adopting a 54 times 98 form factor for its next generation seal, uh, cells has numerous implications for the entire battery manufacturing process and the performance of Tesla's vehicles as a whole, right? Simon Alvarez continuing saying, with the larger cells, Tesla could produce battery packs that have an order of magnitude fewer cells than before. This would result in the company only using one-tenth the number of rows, cans, electrolyte fields, and wells compared to its current operations. Such strategy opens the doors to massive cost reductions that could help bring down the prices of electric cars to a notable degree. In fact, speaking of cost reductions, see at torquenews.com slash Tesla the latest article by our Tesla reporter Paul Fosse about how much we expect Tesla prices to drop by 2022 it's a very interesting article and i will also have my next video coming about reporting on that but if you would like to see it now go to torquenews.com slash tesla and see paul's, uh, paul's article on how much the cost of teslas we expect to be in 2022 based on the battery day events and the limiting factor has a picture on its uh, uh, twitter page saying my mind is already blown i predicted 4070 if the sale is 5498 ish then this is amazing this has implications through the entire manufacturing stock and for performance specs and he continues saying an order of magnitude fewer cells required in each pack that's one tenth the number of rolls cans electrolyte fields and wells. The cell also appears to be designed for cell to pack dropping. But regardless of its actual size, the design of the Roadrunner cell appears to be optimized and designed for a cell to pack drop in setup, writes Alvarez in Tesla Radi, continuing saying that interestingly enough, the leaked image of the Roadrunner cell seems to have a tabless electro design, which Elon Musk has dubbed is way more important than it sounds last year, provided that the Roadrunner cells are indeed inspired by Tesla's tabless electrolyte patent, the new form factor could pave the way uh, to more performance and further reduction in production costs. What's even more notable, says uh, Alvarez, is that these improvements become possible with just the Roadrunner cell's new form factor and design. Gisich, for his part, has noted that with the Roadrunner battery cell's design and potential 54 times 98 form factor alone, Tesla may be able to close in on 300 WH kilogram before making any significant changes to its battery chemistry. Elon, Musk's, Elon Musk actually mentioned a 30-40% improvement from 250 watt kilogram back in 2018, which translates to an improvement to 325 to 350 WH kilogram. Musk's prediction was considered fantastical by critics then, but as the battery day approaches and leaks start to emerge about the event, it is starting to look more and more more likely that the 325 to 350 WH kilogram is feasible. Um, I will have the link to uh, to that video called "Is This Tesla's New Battery Cell?" Uh, uh, on this Roadrunner battery cell leak and video below, you can see in the discussion uh, in the description of this video. In the meantime, friends, let me know what you think about uh, uh, this new battery. It's Tesla's new battery capacity that is going to be unveiled on the battery day, which is starting uh, 2020 uh, in September 22nd of this year, in just a few days, uh, several days or week, and also how much do you think these new batteries will drop the price of new tesla vehicles in the upcoming years if you have taken by the way you can also see that article that i mentioned about how much tesla prices will drop by 2022 by going to torque news uh, channels uh, youtube pages community page i have the link in the community page there or just directly go to torquenews.com tesla for our daily tesla news uh, where we cover two three stories every day and we're going to 
grow more by the way we're still hiring more tesla reporters if any one of you would like to join our team and write minimum five stories per week please contact me send me a sample or just contact me using the contact information on the about page or the contact page on torquenews.com see you soon friends in our next report about tesla price droppings and look for that and have a wonderful rest of the day god bless you and peace be with all of you